I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think I was gonna be back this soon, but Sakor never disappoints. He loves abusing these poor little monkeys. So one of the many topics that I have to cover is the fact that this guy feeds these monkeys like shit. Earlier today, a viewer left me a comment basically saying that the last video posted about Mona was pretty abusive. And so I went to Sakura's channel and I go scroll down and I can't find it. Why? Because there was more than one video that I could consider abusive towards Mona. Now, Mona's been getting the brunt of Sakura's abuse and it's very evident in her reactions to him. So we're going to watch together this little clip of Mona being fed peanuts. But before we go there, I just want to say, VBB, I would like to punch him in the throat too. Now, I don't know where he is, but he's in this new room that looks like it is a room that was made for a child. I, I'm lost. And as per usual, he's feeding her like little scraps of food one by one. You need a lot of, you don't like it. Next time the bee just don't give you that it just give peanut to donor and to you. So because she hasn't eaten every little scrap, he says he's not gonna give her peanuts anymore. He's legit picking up every little tiny piece that she hasn't eaten. And in case you guys haven't noticed, every time these monkeys eat, they're always eating by being fed little tiny pieces one by one. They never just get to pick at their food and eat it themselves. He's hand feeding them bit by bit. And he's got to make sure she's centered for the camera. So Mona's doing what monkeys do. She's picking through and looking for parts that she deems edible. Mm, you doesn't eat at all. Mm -hmm. You're really picky. You started, you started pe being picky like before. Mm? Mona. Hmm? So let's pause right there. This is what's known as a fear grimace. Now, Sakura thinks that the monkeys are smiling at him when they do this, but it's quite the opposite. They're actually showing fear and that they are submissive. How you picky? Hmm? Not good. Let's stop there again. As you guys can see, Mona starts to chatter her teeth and kind of lip smack to let him know, hey, I am trying to be peaceful here. It's so nice. This peanut is so nice. Why are you still here? She has absolutely no clue what she did wrong here. All she knows is that his tone in his voice has changed. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, something clearly spooked her right there. I don't know if it was a look on his face or him pointing the finger at her. Not really sure. Okay, so here's the part I have a problem with. Read the words on the screen. Mona is very picky, but now she is also messy. She wastes food by biting it and spitting it out. Okay, first off, if you wanted a clean animal, get a cat. Oh, wait, you did. I mean, really? You're mad at a monkey for being messy? Do you realize how ridiculous you sound? That's how all monkeys eat. Mona isn't special or anything. But besides that, you're mad over peanuts, dude. Um, you could buy peanuts probably for cents on the street from street vendors in Cambodia. Come on, dude. Come here. Come here now. The D didn't spank you. Come on. Come here. Come here. So then he writes, I really spank her hard. My high voice can scare her already. She really respects both her daddies. Sure about that, Sakura? I mean, you really spank her hard, so that means that sometimes you do spank her hard? Like, what the f***? Well, I'm sure I'm the only one that's not surprised that this guy spanks his monkey, but that's besides the point. That would explain Mona's intense fear of you. Come on, sit here. Eat that. Come on. Eat that. Now he says that she runs away, but she comes back. How cute is that? Does this look like she came back on her own accord here? Because it doesn't look that way to me. 
Emma, good girl. E. So again, she has no idea e. what e. is going on right here. She doesn't understand uh-huh. English yet. He doesn't seem to understand that. So he picks Mona up as she starts doing this little lip smacking thing where she's kind of making this little noise and she's very confused, you could tell. And we're going to talk more about lip smacking and some of these monkey um, communication methods. But first, let's look at the next clip. Okay, so it's the right thing to do here is to warn you guys that Sakura is going to be eating in this scene, okay, which involves a lot of lip smacking and horrible sounds. Eat like they did, okay? Mm-hmm. Come on. Try it. Try it. Come on. Oh, God. I could never sit at a table with this man, but that's besides the point. All right, so who wants to eat when food is literally being held right in their face, shoved in their faces? Mona keeps turning her head, but he has no idea what that means. He cannot read these monkeys' body language at all. I mean, he just does not get it. Watch what he does. And by George, I almost forgot. Can we please discuss the mess that's going on on her head right now? What the hell is this? So now we're not just taping little hair things to her head we're taping flowers fresh cut flowers to her head look at how much goddamn tape is on this monkey's head i mean who in the hell would want to eat with all this crap on their head she looks like goddamn chiquita banana over here Mm. Yeah, eat like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, don't take, don't throw it away. Come on. Oh my God! There's more tape on the top of her head. I just cannot believe this. Mm-hmm. So Mona clearly has no interest in this apple. I mean, she spit it out twice. He keeps shoving it in her face, but she clearly doesn't want it. So what does he do when a monkey doesn't want something? Well, you give it a banana. Now, many people probably don't know this, but bananas actually aren't good for monkeys. Let's take a look at this article. Okay, so this is an article written by the Dodo. It says bananas are unhealthy for monkeys, say nutritionists. Got a little picture of a little macaque there uh, eating a banana. It says, contrary to public perception, bananas are actually bad for monkeys. Nutritionists at page, uh, whatever that is, zoo in the UK have banned bananas from their monkeys' diets. Amy Plowman, the zoo's head of conservation and advocacy, told The Telegraph, people usually try to improve their diet by eating more fruit. But fruit cultivated for humans is much higher in sugar and much lower in protein and fiber than most wild fruit because we like our fruit to be sweet and juicy. Giving this fruit to animals is equivalent to giving them cake and chocolate. The article goes on, but basically to say that bananas are not good for animals. I'll link the article below. So needless to say, Mona's diet basically is compromised of bananas and grapes. I think that's pretty much all I ever see. She never gets any of the necessary protein she needs like bugs or worms or anything that a monkey would normally or naturally eat in nature. You don't like apple, you like only banana. Of course, everyone who everyone who is Mona's friend already know that she doesn't like eating fruit. Uh, is a banana not a fruit? Come on, banana. They did hope for you. Make sure you are full. Okay? They didn't want you thin. They didn't want you fat. Uh, 
Okay, so he wants Mona to be fat. Well, fat is unhealthy. I hate to let you know that, Sakura. But you see how he has to hold the food in these poor monkeys' faces? Like, they know naturally to just eat their food. They'll pick it up when they want. They might not eat it all at once the way you want because, you know, the monkeys are not thinking, hey, there's a camera in my face and, you know, there's only a certain amount of time for a video for YouTube. So let me eat my food in this little time frame that my dad has for me no she's going to eat at her own pace but he never seems to allow that so he's constantly shoving food in her face come on eat more then they have to force you because they don't want you thin you know you ate very last today so we just watched Mona literally push the food away and he's like oh I have to force you well guess what if she doesn't eat that probably means she's not hungry you ate a little, more, a little bit today hmm? Hmm? Uh, there you go, dude. Just keep shoving it in her face and moving it all over the place. That'll get her to eat. <laughs> so there we have it. She just pushed it away for a third time. So what does he do? He puts it back in her face because he cannot waste any food. Never mind the other five monkeys he has. So this little struggle continues on until Mona basically just, I guess, starts eating because she's kind of being forced, you know? I mean, what else is she supposed to do? And can we just talk about this ridiculous flower? I mean, come on, dude. What is the deal? You know what the problem is? I'm going to show you guys what the problem is here. This. This is the problem. People like this woman. What a gorgeous doll. The flowers just top it off right. LOL. So cute. No, they're not. Or this lady. Beautiful mademoiselle with those orange flowers on the head. The dress is a little big for her. Love from Chile with the million emojis. Then there's the, she's just too cute in that dress. That flower made her extra cute with the heart emojis. Thanks for being a great dad, winky face. Then you got this one. Mona looks so beautiful with those flowers, flower emoji, on her head. I want one so bad. I am saving money to buy a capuchin. Hope y'all have a great day. Uh, lady, if you're looking at this guy as your, like, monkey master or your monkey mentor, like, please, just don't do that, okay? This is how you should not raise monkeys. You women with the million emojis at the end of every comment, okay? You women are the problem. You are the ones who are keeping this guy thinking that what he is doing is okay. So yeah, I'm calling y'all out. Poor, poor Mona. Like, no matter what she does, she cannot get away from this. Like, he's just holding her right in place. Eat the food, Mona. Stand up. Eat it. It's like, I feel so bad for these monkeys. I really do. But believe it or not, that was not the most abusive videos. These were actually mild compared to the other ones I found on his channel that day. So we're going to get to those in the next video.